Hello Geeks, welcome back to the Geek Man Cave and welcome back to my Avengers Endgame celebration. 14 videos in 14 days, hyping ourselves up for Avengers Endgame coming out April 26. So guys, on yesterday's video, I managed to get my hands on the Black Panther helmet from Hasbro. Guys, this thing is selling for about £60 online at the moment and it is an absolute steal. If you can find one for that price, I would definitely recommend picking it up. But if you want to check out that video and you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave a link to it in the description below and check out the tag at the end of this video. So today, guys, we're going to be continuing our theme of Black Panther by creating an iconic movie prop from Black Panther. I am talking, of course, about the source of the Black Panther's power, the heart-shaped herb. Yes, guys, the heart-shaped herb had been growing in vibranium rich soil and gives the black panther his superhuman strength speed agility and the strength of the black panther so guys i'm going to show you how to create a very easy very cheap version of the heart shaped herb Okay, so up first we need the center part of the herb. So I'm going to be using this small plastic purple egg. Now the good thing is with it being Easter, these things are absolutely everywhere. So I'm going to be using this as my base for the shape of my herb. The problem is, is the plastic is way too smooth, so I need to change the texture. So I managed to get my hands on this artificial cheap plant. It cost me less than a pound, this purple plant, and it comes with these really cool material petals at the top. They're not the right shape for the herb, but I'm going to use them to stick to this in order to give it that heart-shaped herb look. So just pull them off, guys, and all we're going to do is hot glue them straight on to our plastic egg. thing about these petals guys is they come in petal patterns so if I hot glue it one to the top and one to the bottom I can overlap the petals to make it look like the bud of a flower so again I'm just gonna hot glue this this will also get rid of any of the plastic that we can see So now the bud is done, it's time to go into some detail. Now on the heart-shaped herb, you can see that the herb has these kind of lighter color veins going across the bulbs. So what I'm gonna use for that, guys, is some purple ribbon. Now the great thing about this purple ribbon I picked up, it has a bendy plastic end. So what I'm gonna do is cut four small pieces of this out and stick it to the four corners of each of the bud. That will give it that veiny effect with the vibranium running through it. Now, the heart-shaped herb also has these very strange extruding petals, the petals that kind of float on the outside. They almost look like four little wings. So to do this, guys, I'm just gonna get some of the bigger petals from my plant, cut the shape out that I need, which is almost like an elephant's ear. And then when I'm happy with the size, I'm gonna hot glue these onto the vein parts of the herb so they can extrude outwards, giving it that effect that we see in the movie.
With the petals now done, what I'm going to do is use the base, the green leaf base from earlier from the plant, to hot glue to the base of our heart-shaped herb. Not only will this hide the glue that we've used to glue the bits together, but it also gives that plucked straight from the ground effect. The last thing I'm gonna do is add some artificial roots that I picked up in the local craft shop, and then we're ready for the final reveal. And there we have it, Geeks, your very own heart-shaped herb from Black Panther. Why not take it up a notch and drill a small hole in the top to place an LED light so when you turn the lights off, you have your very own glowing heart-shaped herb. Super easy to make, Geeks. Super effective. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Two secs. That's better. I hope you've enjoyed this video, Geeks. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for weekly content on the Geek Man Cave. And don't forget, Geeks, because this is part of my Endgame celebration, if you like this video or any other of my Endgame videos, you're within a chance of winning this very cool signed Infinity Gauntlet comic. Guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Now remember, it's your cave, your rules, and I'll see you next time.